Well, you're you're here on Makeover Day, which is perfect because look, <laughs> here's here's you a little while ago. Here's you now. Look at that. <laughs> look, I bet you didn't know the wind actually got your yeah. shirt blown yeah, back a little bit. It's all it's all a uh, part of the process. I'm actually I have another part of my makeover process now. I've you wearing wearing, underwear? I'm wearing the yellow underwear. All right. Yeah. So, putting it all in there. It's comfortable, isn't it? No, everybody's saying it's comfortable. Is it not? I'm, I'm more of a boxers person myself. You're a boxers so person? Are... Well, I'll get you some boxers. Okay. All right. And I just, did I say that on national TV? Yeah. Oh. Is that wrong to be a boxer person? Well, no, I just didn't want to tell people what kind of underwear I wore. Oh. Because oh, now you'll get it. Yeah, Because whatever will. you, they're going to be throwing boxers on stage yeah, for you now. Saying. Now, because really, you know, the, the, they're going crazy for you, these, these, uh... <laughs> and it's amazing because this has happened so quickly for you. You've been doing this a long time, but suddenly, just a year ago... Well, I was doing it as a hobby, you know. I started, my mom said I started singing at 16 months old. But, uh... You know, just kind of singing around, you know, sang at church, I sang at some weddings, and, and I was going to be a teacher, and that's what I was going to do. But this, um, definitely a change in, in my, my direction, uh, and it happened really quickly, so it's kind of hard to get, a, get used to it all so, so much. Yeah, because usually people, you, you, you struggle, and you work, and you fail, and, you know, like the first time I did The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, I just thought the next day I'd walk around the sidewalk, and everybody, oh, you, and no one recognized me, you know, because <laughs> I just thought everyone, and, but, you know. You're doing okay now, though. You, I, yeah, it's, it's been 25 years. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> but you, you know, you're on American Idol, and suddenly you can't go to the grocery store anymore. It's, it's it, you know, every, people recognize it was such a big show. And, and, of course, that's a huge, I mean, everybody, of course, who doesn't like that? I mean, that's exciting for us. But it is really difficult to get used to really fast. Yeah, and, and also to be scrutinized, because that's another thing. I mean, sort of that's what happened here. People are going, I'd rather you wear this or that. Yeah, people all of a sudden <laughs> said, we want to change your hair. And they did. And, and how does that feel? Because uh, you're, you're really a nice guy, and you, you act like it's, you know, oh, that's Simon, and he had good comments. But Simon said some things that probably hurt your feelings. Um, well, I look at it this way. First of all, Simon, Simon, I'm, he's, you know, he has a job to do. But I figure, you know, if I, ha if I had known what to do to become, to put myself on this show today and, and to become successful at this, I wouldn't have needed American Idol to do it. So uh, I don't mind taking advice from people. I kind of, you know, I have my boundaries. I'm not going to do this and this. But, right. but, um, but I take suggestions. Yeah, and, and it really didn't hurt your feelings if he said something that was, was me? I mean, I would just start crying. That's what I would do. Well, I think it's just, it was just, you know, it's a competition, it's a show, you, get, you came on to do it. If I wasn't ready to take it, then I, I shouldn't have come on. So I kind of, I kind of took, you know, you, you just kind of at him behind his back. When yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to give you a chance to do right now. I, but, <laughs> but you're too nice to do that. But, uh, and, and here's, here's the, the, the lesson in all this, is that, you didn't even win. You came in second, and look at you. I mean, that's... I think you're really... I think it speaks to the show. The show was just a really... It was a really amazing, powerful medium to, to teach us how to do this. You know, I was on... I did press, and I did performing in front of audiences and did the TV thing. So it was a, it was a great lesson, teacher, for me. Right. And it was a great, you know, way to, to find new people that, them, that the public likes. Right, because they all got to vote. You know they like you because right. they all were... Well, were... at least half of them do. Yeah, no, <laughs> it, was, it was more than that. I think it was very close. It was you know? close. It was really, really close. But, I mean, I think the point is to never give up. And uh, you, you certainly are extremely talented and a really nice guy. And uh, so I'm, I'm really happy for your success. And just hold on tight, because it's, uh, you know, everybody just tries to take pieces of you. And, and you really just deserve to have a little bit of privacy. So well, thank you. hold on to that. Thank you very Clay, much. Clay, thanks for being thank here. Thank you very much. Everybody in the audience is getting Clay Aiken's new CD. All of you, Measure the Man.